Alright, hello everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make paper look old. So to get started, um, you'll need a microwave, you'll need a container to put the piece of paper in, um, you'll need a lighter, a cup of coffee or tea, a plate, and lastly, the piece of paper you want to make look old. So to get started here, um, I'm going to pour the coffee or tea into the container. So. Be careful you don't burn yourself if you just brew the coffee or tea. Uh, after that, let's put that off to the side. So as you can see, the container now has coffee in it. I'll start by putting the paper, or just laying the paper carefully into the coffee. And just pressing down. Um, you want to make sure that it's covered in coffee. Just to make sure um, it's evenly brown for the most part. Um, in the end, it's not going to look too much like coffee. It's going to look more like a tannish paper. Um, it's not going to be as dark as, it w as what it looks like in the container. Um, another thing is, while it's in the container, you may see some spots of whitish paper. Um, those should go away after the paper gets dried out. So let me just finish it up here. And as you can see, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's, for the most part, it's completely soaked in the coffee. Alright. Once you're done with that, get your plate nearby. And then while transferring, um, you want to make sure you don't rip the paper. So just be really careful when you do this part. Alright, so we've got the unused coffee in there, and then now we've got our piece of coffee soaked paper on a plate. And the next step is going to be putting that in the microwave. Alright, so a couple of things to remember when you're putting it in the microwave is that you want to make sure you don't put it in there for a very long time, because if you do, um, you'll run the risk of igniting the paper, and when the paper ignites, um, there's going to be soot on the inside of your microwave, and your microwave's not going to smell too good afterwards. Also, um, in general, it's not good to have burning objects in your house. So, with that, we'll continue. So, usually about 25 seconds is pretty good. Just depend it depends on how much water is left, but it's a pretty good benchmark to make sure it doesn't get too hot. So. 25 and start and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up while I go through and dry out the paper <clears throat> just remember because it's sitting on that plate that's not completely flat it is gonna form to the shape of the plate so after it regains some of its shape and rigidity um, you could try putting it directly on the microwave's glass plate uh, but that's entirely up to you so Alright, um, as you can see here, um, for the most part, our piece of old paper is dried out. And just for comparison, here's another piece of paper. Um, they're the two exact same documents. They're, they're, well, they're both the same, except this one looks a bit older now. Um, the next step is going to be to burn the edges a little bit. And we'll do that in the next cut. So I'll be right back. Okay, for the burning part, you want to make sure you do it in a sink, with the water running. The water will extinguish any embers that fall. Also, make sure you have good ventilation near your sink. To create the burnt and uneven edges, start by burning little sections at a time. Make sure each, each section doesn't burn past the margin into your text. Repeat this around the edge of the paper. Furthermore, I am not responsible for any damages or injuries of any sort to anything or anyone. 
Uh, make sure you have confidence in your abilities before you start burning paper or microwaving paper or dipping it in coffee. Um, just wanted to make that clear. Alright, so now we're down to the last part of making the paper look gold. So we've soaked it in coffee, we've dried it out in the microwave, and we've burned down the edges a little bit. So the last step is to crumple it up. So to do that, um, actually this step is pretty easy, you just crumple it up. But um, while you're crumpling up, just be careful not to rip it. And then you slowly unravel it. Also, um, trying to prevent any tearing. Um, and just put it down and straighten it out. And you want to make sure it's pretty flat. And um, yeah, little bits of the burned edges will fall off, but that's not a big problem. So let's do that one more time. And then again, just unwrap it very carefully. Alright, that's it. So, now, after soaking it in coffee, drying it out, burning the edges and crumpling it up, you now have a piece of paper that looks and feels pretty old. And just for comparison here, we've got, this is what it looked like before we did anything to it, and this is what it looks like after. So, just a little bit of comparison here. And, alright, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like the video, please um, leave a like or consider subscribing, and thanks for watching.